What's happening? It's your boy Jay Anonymous. You feel me? And welcome to another episode of Anonymous Crypto. Now today, we ain't got no time to play because Safe Moon just dropped the AMA. You feel me? And they got some things to unveil. So let's go ahead and see what we can get into. But I am not a financial advisor. What does that mean? Do your own due diligence before buying, selling, or holding crypto. Do not make any investment decisions based on the content you see here on this channel. All content posted on this channel for information on entertainment purposes only. Why? Because the motto here is, if you listen to me, you might end up in the street. You feel me? We don't want that to happen. So please do your due diligence. Now let's get into it. Now, SafeMoon didn't do an AMA for a couple of weeks, and now we know why, because they have been in the Gambia. Okay, you already know the country of Gambia in Africa, right? They're out there. They've been out there for the last couple of weeks working out and hashing out some things, some deals, trying to get some things cracking, right? So, look, before we get into the meat, let's go ahead and go to CoinMarketCap.com. Currently on CoinMarketCap.com, they have a rank of 205, okay, out of 10,682 cryptos the the, the 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 number just changes every single time i do this like so many people are creating cryptos right now that it is crazy so you got to be careful but they are currently on one million five hundred and forty seven thousand four hundred and sixty six watch lists with a current price place of a price point of point zero 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 three so that's five zeros behind the decimal and a three currently up 5.41 percent as we're recording currently has a market cap it dropped a little bit of 1.8 billion with a 24 hour volume of 11.2 million, okay? Now, if we come over here to the Twitter, as you can see, they have 940.8 thousand followers, okay? So they're almost to that million, okay? Almost to that million. Now look, Safe Moon Bridges, we're gonna get into what that is. Uh, we're actually gonna play um, the AMA. The AMA was actually pre-recorded this time, so it was real short. It's only about, I, I don't even think it's full all the way 10 minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and let that play um and play a little bit of that at least and just let you guys see that and then we'll move on so um new people new blood new ideas new opportunities says thomas smith cbo chief blockchain officer of safe moon okay um end of july they revealed that the safe moon wallet their goal to drop the full version open for everybody to use of the safe moon wallet is going to be by the end of july that's literally one month from now okay so look it's finna get cracking man now let's get in all right guys now i'm gonna try to go ahead and play the safe moon ama just a clip of it okay um i found this on youtube it's actually on another youtuber's uh channel but that's why we're not gonna we're just gonna play a little bit of it okay we're just gonna play a quick little bit so that you guys can get an understanding of what is going on okay so here we go Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, guys, uh, the, uh, his, the audio, I don't know what's going on with the audio on the video, but don't worry about that. We're going to go ahead and skip ahead real quick. Um, so pretty much they're talking about bridges, right? And so pretty much what they're talking about is they're talking about creating uh, inter, uh, an inter-blockchain between different blockchains. So if you have SafeMoon on Binance Smart Chain, which is originally right now, we're the only place you can get it, not only will it be available on ETH blockchain on EOS on wax on harmony and possibly others in the future um, you'll be available to basically let's say you have a hundred Binance Smart Chain safe moon and you want to send it to me okay because Binance Smart Chain is down or it's tripping or whatever's wrong with it you can literally send it and it'll go ahead and on the bridge it'll change it and exchange those Binance Smart Chain into ERC 20 ETH tokens so It'll take those 100 Binance Smart Chain Safe Moon and turn it into ERC20 Safe Moon or Harmony Safe Moon or Wax or EOS Safe Moon. Okay, so this is gonna be a good thing because I know a lot of you guys. I'm actually gonna do a video on this and cover the whole Binance thing as far as them being possibly banned or banned from the UK and 
this is just going to be a, a, a telltale sign that bridges and inner blockchain bridges are going to be a thing in the future because you don't want to have the problem of having all your money just on one blockchain and then it goes to shit or something happens or the system fails or it's down. Now what? So with this, this is going to make it to where you can basically, it's kind of like having 10 people on your team that all know how to do the same thing. Okay, let's say we're making music and they need beats. Okay, well, I'm, I'm sick this week. Okay, you make the beats and send them. Or you do that. Or you do that. You know what I'm saying? So you can literally send it from Binance Smart Chain to ETH here, there, 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 there. And it could work either way. So even though you have this one crypto, it's available on all these different blockchains. And they all have their own different perks that they come with. Fees, where there's gas, fee, gas fees, uh, fees for purchasing NFTs, fees for gaming. There's a lot of different things that you can, uh, perks that you can get from this. So I just wanted to point that out. Now, if we skip ahead, I'm going to skip ahead in the video because they're basically breaking down everything I just said. So I summarized that. If you guys want to see more, you guys can actually come back and watch this. And then let's just play this clip from the Gambia. There you go. pretty sure you guys could hear the vocals but if you can't hear the vocals I'm sorry for that long pause um, I was trying to see if you guys could hear the vocals but I'm not hundred percent if you can so I'm gonna continue to talk over so basically if you can't hear what he already said basically what he's saying is they went to Gambia they were out there for about 10 days or so or two weeks or so and they were basically meeting up with most of the government officials the ministers the Minister of Finance um, and a few different entities that they're in negotiations with as far as having SafeMoon be used as a financial payment system and also using with uh, working with Simplex and everything like that to have these payments sent, you know, via cell phone, you know, possibly without Wi-Fi access, different things like that. So they're working on and they're still in negotiations with getting that done. So this they're basically just showing you what they've been doing and why they haven't done it uh, AMA in the last couple of weeks. Um, so that's basically what's going on. Like I said, if you guys can hear already, then F any, anything I'm saying right now. But if you don't, that's basically what they're talking about right now. So as you can see on the video, they're meeting up with the officials. They're sitting there. They're delegating, talking, working out different deals and how. And they're basically there explaining to the rest of the officials that they haven't already met with before why they should have Safe Moon. Why should they consider safe moon what can be the possibilities what are they bringing to the table that would benefit the country outside of just benefiting the company itself so that's basically what they're doing with that um i think let me see if y'all want to oh, okay here we go and we can actually scoot up from that okay and so now that we're done with that now they're going to be pretty much talking about the wallet and so he's going to pull up his phone and show the wallet the actual safe moon wallet on his phone and show everything that he's doing so here we go, Safe Moon Wallet. So 
There you go. Bam. Running right on his phone right there. Look. It's going to be the live prices. Safe Moon BNB. Calculator. The million, billion, trillion buttons. So right now they have the closed beta, which is only 500 people. But before the end of July, they're going to have an open beta so that majority of people open, uh, you know, people outside of that 500 can get in and test it. So they're going to test with the 500, get feedback. Then they're going to test with the open beta, get more feedback. And then after that, they'll let them know um, when and how and what they need to do to get the final process done so that they can drop by the end of July. Hopefully by the end of July, that's the goal right now. And so I think that's pretty much it with the AMA. It was just a short AMA. Um, like I said, if you guys couldn't hear the vocals, there was a little pause at the beginning where I was just playing it because I wasn't sure, but I was like, hmm, maybe they can't hear it um, because I have my recording microphone set up to take audio and I'm playing it through the computer, through my headphones. So I was like, hmm, I don't know if that's how that's working. So just wanted to make sure I covered that. But that's basically what's going on with Safe Moon, man. Safe Moon AMA, they're also covered. They didn't really cover too much in the video, but they also got... You know, the Minecraft thing going on. A lot of people are wondering how is that going to work with the NFTs and everything. So they basically have it where they have a coding system. They have a code. You can go on there and code your own games and things like that. So you're going to use the SafeMoon coding system or the codes. And you can go on there and play certain games that were built on there with with um, with the SafeMoon team. And you can go on there and start mining, you know, mental um, SafeMoon NFTs and things like that. So this is basically going to be a beta test for that as well. But... Once again, um, you know, that's basically what's going on. So with all of that being said, I am not a financial advisor. What does that mean? Do your own due diligence before buying, selling, or holding crypto. Do not make any investment decisions based on the content you see here on this channel. All content posted on this channel is for information and entertainment purposes only. Why? Because the motto here is, if you listen to me, you might end up in the street. You feel me? And we don't want that to happen. So please do your due diligence. Check it out. Like, subscribe, and comment below. Let me know if you gonna go get some more Safe Moon because they got things cracking and my bag ain't gonna be slacking. You feel me? Because we gonna be in the game. So, once again, man, appreciate you for tuning in every single time. Like, subscribe, and comment, okay? My name is Jay Anonymous. This is the Anonymous Crypto Channel. We out!